The part that I enjoy most about uh, C4 meetings is that it brings together a very diverse um, set of experts. And you really need this to map the human body across scales. Having a range of expertise around the room to, to talk about this challenging problem, that is incredible. You know, intense discussions over two days to find a way forward. And you can't solve this without that interdisciplinary approach. This multi-scale model has been the holy grail of the system biology since its inception 25 years ago. And I think the time is right. You know, we have a better technology, we have better understanding how to go about it. So this is really a grand challenge or the moonshot for biomedical science. If you are able to um, accomplish mapping the human body across scales, then what might be possible is to have a digital twin of you. So when you are born, this algorithm would start running. And as data sets become available, you could run any kind of predictions of what might happen over your lifetime in that model. And I think it will help us understand why certain diseases happen and how to treat them better or even recognize them before they start. And so I look forward to more precision health, less precision medicine. We are on the very early stage of yet another industrial revolution. In the next five years, we're going to see the dramatic change in the way we do science. And I think this Sifa Macmillan multi-scale human project can be really the showcase, embracing a new technology, because you need the technology to achieve the science. I think I'm just grateful that, you know, CIFA and Macmillan see this challenge as being fundamentally important in terms of where we go next in mapping the human body to really make that transformative next step, the radical change that's needed to improve human life. <laughs>